Secret Agent K-7 returns. America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries, on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. Here is K-7. Today, there are certain nations in the world whose citizens, no matter what their walk in life, live in constant fear of the secret police. No man dares to speak his mind, in public or in private, for those who have are dead victims of a political underworld which does not stop at even murder to silence those who raise their voices against the government. It is a story involving political intrigue and the secret police, which John Holbrook introduces now. Thank you, K-7. Our story opens in a famous gay European capital. Two men, refugees from their own country, walk in a wooded park as they plan their future activities. The time is early evening. Ah, it is good to be here, Sergei. This city is gay. It is a city of lovers. Did you see the two on the bench as we passed? Yes. It is good to be here. And good to know that here we can work. Today I was promised the backing for our newspaper. We will call it Freedom and Justice. Uh, you think we will have no trouble getting copies of our newspaper back over the border to our people? Trouble? Yes, we will have trouble. But we must succeed. Our people must know the truth about those who lead them. It is our job to spread the truth to... Sergei, what is the matter? These three men coming. They found us. They have guns. Sergei, run. Save yourself. It's too late. They... They found us. Goodbye, my brother. Two men, two patriots, died for daring to oppose those who would crush freedom and justice. A few hours later, at an hour near midnight, Special Agent M and his assistant, Ivan, talked with a third patriot in the library of a great home on an important boulevard in the same city. Agent M, tonight a terrible thing has happened. Two patriots of my country have been murdered in cold blood. Their murder proves that the secret police of my country know of our plot. He places one of my dearest friends, who is in our homeland, in a desperate position. Monsieur Colan, what is your plot? If Ivan and I are to help you, we must know the whole story. You know these two men who were shot down in the park? Oh, yes. They were my friends. With me, they escaped from our homeland. The three of us were refugees. And the secret police followed you, is that it? The secret police found out that we planned to publish a newspaper, which would expose those who now lead our people. We were going to smuggle the newspaper over the border and distribute it. What part did you play in the plot? I furnished the money, the backing. And now you want us to protect you? No. No, mademoiselle. For myself, I am not worried. I've called upon Special Agent M because I want a man kidnapped from my homeland. What do you mean, Monsieur Colan? General Luigi must be brought into this country where he'll be safe. But, Monsieur Colan, General Luigi is, is a leader of your government. Wait. Please let me explain. General Luigi was a leader, yes. But he is a just man, a gentleman. He refused to support violence, murder. And when those who lead our government began to use ruthless methods, he spoke against them. I see. He immediately lost prestige. 
Secretly, he was furnishing me with money to be used to expose the methods of those who ruled. Do the uh, secret police know that, Monsieur Colon? I'm afraid they do, mademoiselle. We thought that they did not know of our activities. But these two murders tonight... You see, General Luigi must be brought here. Otherwise, within a few days, he'll be arrested and tried. Agent M, will you go to him? Try to bring him here, at least warn him? I say you will do it. You want him brought into this country. Monsieur Colon, I'm tempted. Yes, Ivan and I will help you. We'll go to General Luigi tomorrow. God grant that we're not too late. Next day, Agent M and Yvonne flew across the border and into the capital city of another country. There, M secured a car. Then he and Yvonne drove to General Luigi's home. There's the house, Yvonne. Wait. Don't get out. You see that man across the road? There's another down the block. The house is being watched. Yes, no doubt about it. Yvonne, I want you to stay here in the car. We're going to have to put the plan we worked out into effect. It'll be dark in within a half an hour. You're going in to see the general now? Yes. I've got to persuade him to come with us. Remember our plan and carry them out just as I outlined them. I know what to do, Em. We may be ready within an hour. Keep your eyes open and be ready to get away. Agent M entered the house. Ten minutes later, he faced General Luigi. General... Your life is in danger. I've come here to take you across the border. It is ridiculous. My friend Colin has always worried about my safety. These last few years have broken his nerves. Perhaps, General. But this time I'm afraid he's right. Do you know what happened yesterday? Yesterday? Why? Nothing happened. Yes, General. Something important happened. Your secret police crossed the border and murdered the two men associated with you and Monsieur Colin. What? Think about that. Your police dared to enter another country and execute two men. You still think you're safe here? You are sure of what you have just told me? Absolutely sure. How did they find out that we planned to stop the newspaper Freedom and Justice? I can't answer that. Although I suspect you all have been followed since you first began to criticize your government. You are a patriot, General. There is no place for patriots under your present laws. No. Oh. No, I'm afraid you are right. Men must not think. They must live for the state. But I cannot believe I have been followed. Do you know that the secret police are watching this house now? You mean they are outside? Yes. Come over to this window. Snap out the light. Yes? I'll pull the shade aside a little. You see the man in the shadows across the street? Yes. Yes, there is someone there. There were two others. This house is surrounded. General, unless you come with me tomorrow, you will be arrested. How can we get away? Switch on the light. Now listen to me. You have a car? Yes, of course. Order it brought to the front of the house. We're going to make a dash for the border. If we're lucky, we may succeed. A few minutes later, the general's car arrived. A tall figure in a military greatcoat left the house and entered its darkened interior. As the car pulled away, a police whistle sounded. Faster. Head for the border. They've seen us. As the general's car sped toward the border, orders cracked out. General Luigi is attempting to leave the country. Border stations are ordered to barricade all roads. Barricade all roads. Stop and search all cars attempting to leave the border. All roads are ordered barricaded. All cars are to be searched. General Luigi is to be placed under arrest immediately. Two hours later, the general's car approached the border station. As its headlights speared the darkness, M saw the barricaded road and issued an order to the chauffeur. Driver, we we'll have to stop. The road is barricaded. Yes, sir. Here come the guards. All right, General. Step out of the car. What is the meaning of this? I have orders to place you under arrest, General Luigi. I'm afraid you've made a mistake, guard. I am Special Agent M. 
Here are my credentials. Mm. Where's your driver? Order him to step out. I want to look at him. Step out, driver. Yes, sir. Now, are you satisfied? I am driving on a diplomatic passport. You have made a mistake. Order your men to remove the barricade from the road immediately or I shall be forced to report you. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I, I had orders. I don't care what your orders were. Have the barricade removed. Yes, sir. At once, sir. Remove the barricade. This car is to be allowed to pass. Thank you. I suppose I should report you. Please, sir. I, I uh... will forget it. Uh, get in the car, driver. The road is clear. Ready to start, sir. Uh, wait. Guard. Inasmuch as you have stopped me, I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. Uh, step off to the side of the road behind my car. Well, what do you wish? I'm afraid one of my taillights has burned out. Uh, when I apply the brakes, the red light is supposed to blink on and off. Uh, my uh, brake light, you understand? I want you to see if it works. Put your brakes on. I will watch. All right, driver. Give the signal. Step on the brakes three times slowly. Right, sir. The light works, sir. It blinks three times. Then I will leave you. Wait, there's a car coming. Without lights. Whoever it was is over the border guard. There's a woman passing. I saw her in your headlights as she passed. She seems to have stopped up ahead. It's too bad she's in another country now. You can't go after her, can you? Look, she's blinking her taillights. One, two. She blinked them three times. What does it mean? Three times? Yes. It looked almost like a signal. I'm sorry, I haven't time to explain it to you. When I catch up with her, I'll tell her that you're very annoyed. Good night, guard. Wait! Stop! The woman who passed was Yvonne, and crouching in the seat behind her was General Luigi. Once across the border, M joined them. The general escaped the purge that took many of his associates. Today, safe in a neutral country, he fights the tyrants who rule his homeland. Listen for my next story. This is K7 speaking.